Hey guys, Roshan in Wonderland here. I've just pulled up to a block of flats. Um, it's an abandoned block of flats, but it is also the home of the Yorkshire Ripper's second victim, Patricia Atkinson. Uh, he killed her in 1977. Uh, she was only 32. And she is also the only victim that he killed inside and he killed her in her flat which was flat three and then he dragged her out into the hallway and left her to be found so yeah uh, this um was also the first time he targeted someone in bradford as well So yeah, we're going to go inside and I, d I don't think there's much left of the flats now. We'll go inside and we'll see what it's like and we'll see if we can find any activity. Don't forget, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell. Right, so this is the flats. It looks now as though it's just a sham. Some fire damage in here. You can see where someone had one at flooring in there. I'm guessing this was all one flat with laminate through it. Oh look, there's some pictures of uh, women on there. I know a YouTuber who would love those pictures. Look, you can see that these walls were once painted pink. This could have been someone's room. That could have been someone's kitchen. Do like that on the staircase, that is interesting. Apparently Patricia was found on the staircase. I think that's what I've heard, read. Or oh, she was either, oh my God. <sighs> yeah, I think she was found either in the hallway or on the staircase. Another one where laminate flooring's been put down. It's weird to think, see the neck curtain's still there. It's weird to think that these were once people's homes and it's just been completely stripped and left to rot. I'm not sure why someone would do that to a daddy, but that made me jump. And then some fireplace there that got bricked up. So, I, it looks like this was a block of flats built in the 60s. I'm not sure how long it's been abandoned. I'm more, when I researched this place, I'm more 
I just looked into Patricia because obviously, oh, there's a downstairs as well. Obviously, the fact that uh, a very famous serial killer killed one of his victims here is very interesting. I am actually really into true crime and I watch a lot of true crime and uh, yeah that obviously fits in as well with me doing paranormal look the uh, shower fitting still on there burnt pink towels so yeah obviously it's gone up in flames at some point it's a sleeping bag so it looks like someone's been sleeping here or a few people we did oh, i've just seen something out of the corner of my eye We did on the way here, uh, on the way in, find a suitcase full of needles. I'm not even joking, I don't really want to go and film them, but I found a suitcase full of needles. So I've been in there and yeah, that was gross. Let's see, there's more signs of people working in here. Which you're gonna get, you're gonna get that in a. Uh, I'm just glad they're not here now, but you're gonna get that in abandoned buildings, especially in cities. Look, there's a shower there. That's weird, that. <gasps> right. So, This isn't much taller than me, and I'm only five foot. I am absolutely tiny. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine that was a very comfortable shower, if you were tall. Well, normal height compared to me. Oh. That's weird. There's a vape in there as well. Someone's been chilling in there. Carpet still down in the hallway as well. <coughs> it must have been abandoned quite a while because you've got all this paint peel as well. Loads of paint peel. Another teddy. More signs of people living here. It really would. It's it's like sad to think that wow, the coat hanger's still. Up. It's sad to think that some people live in places like this. CB, yeah. I'm gonna head upstairs now. Yeah, oh, we well, just leaving me, you know, in the basement of an abandoned building where people have obviously been living. Cheers, thanks, Star. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I take you to Cinnabon. Last time I buy it, I'm joking. Cinnabon's ace, I'm going next time. Look at that one, how close it is to that one. Yeah.
I think it's the fact we had fat scran before coming. I would have to find some pictures, but it's because the window, the curtain was still up in the window. So I've seen pictures of it when it wasn't so decayed. Wow. So it looks like there was a balcony here at one point. Yeah, and the picture of Patricia Atkinson's flat. Obviously, I've seen pictures of when it was still hers and when it was abandoned and the curtain's still up, like an urban explorer. Did it. But that's the only way of knowing which flat is hers, so don't actually know. Don't worry though, I will have a look and see if I can find anything online that points to where it is. Wow. That bit really burnt out. Jesus, look at, someone's obviously painted fish on the bathroom wall. I'm getting a really weird feeling being over on this side. Yeah. Not like I've had in the other Stop swearing, I'm filming. <gasps> There's a cat down there. <laughs> Hi, kitty! Probably a feral cat. It, it looks like my Zero, he's a feral cat. So after some searching online, we have found Patricia's flat and I am trying to be really respectful with this video. Obviously it happened in the 70s and she's still going to have family around and she was a 32 year old woman at the end of the day. And so I'm trying to be respectful. We found her flat and so we're going to go and investigate her flat. So this is flat three, where Patricia Atkinson was murdered by the Yorkshire Ripper, Peter Sutcliffe. So this would have been a living room. This looks like it was the kitchen. this the bathroom so I'm guessing her living room was also her bedroom unless I'm not sure where the door was yeah it was, all one room. was it all one room yeah. yeah so it was a studio flat so this was her bedroom and living room and then she had the kitchen and bathroom through there That's a weird door. Trying to be respectful. Let's try to be respectful with the pan here. Is there anyone here with us? Don't walk over by the back of the stand. 
Yeah. I've also got K2 Media and
it sounds like it's just going to do. Okay, two minutes, just come on. Is that you touching the device in the doorway? intelligent responses through this. Can anyone tell me who was killed in this flat? What was the, what was the name of the woman killed in this flat? spirits are in this building. That was two different voices saying too. I keep hearing a Scottish guy's voice come from. Did you see something before about 
out. Someone's written on the wall that there's a body buried under the building. On the hallway. Yeah. Someone's written on the hallway wall that there's a body of a man buried under the building. Is there a body buried under this building? What happened in this flat? Died. Who died in this flat? I've just heard something through there again. Is Patricia here? Patricia, do you want to use this device to speak to us? <laughs> Patricia, what did he do to you? Where, where did he leave you? Can you tell me where he left you? Trisha, where was your body found? Here. Yeah. Here. Whereabouts in the building was it found? Trisha, do you know that you're dead? I keep hearing noises out here. Do you want to walk towards? It's just gone off. Do you want to walk towards this device in the doorway? Can you make that flash again? Can you make it flash to yellow? I can hear something moving about in there. Is there anyone here? Hello? I feel like someone's in that corridor. Can you touch this device again? Can 
Please can you come forward and touch that device. Let us know that you're here. You can use this device to answer questions and communicate with us. Send it to Yellow if you want to come and talk. No, that's weird. Yeah. I might have been good taking a walk with the uh, spirit box actually. Do you want to come and touch this device I've got in my hand? Just come forward, touch this device in my hand. Is this the stairway where you were found? Oh, that might be a point. You dragged her out to the stairway and left her on the stairs. <gasps> just gone off there. Patricia, is that you? Can you send it to Orange if it's you? Oh, is this where you were found? Is this where he left your body? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Do you know who killed you? Are you angry that he killed you? If I get out another form of communication, do you want to come through and talk to me using it? Yeah. Do you want a chance to have your voice heard?
know what happened to you. Is this where your body was found? block of flats where British Jackson lived and unfortunately died. I've tried to be, I hope I've come across as respectful in this video because I have tried to be. Um, and the, the responses we got were quiet so once I go back and I review it then hopefully I'll be able to get a better idea of what we've got through but yeah, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think.